One in nine people across the globe lack access to safe water. The United Nations has targeted 18 sustainable development issues that they would love for educators and students across the world to focus on. One of those 18 topics is the issue of water. Today was a very humbling day, a very real day. We got a little bit of a hands-on experience about what's happening in South Sudan and water crisis there. Our students read A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park. We walked in honor of the real heroes that we read about in our book. A little girl was walking eight hours a day only to get dirty water. Girls probably younger than me, they were doing that each and every day. We carry two gallons or about 16 pounds worth of water. I can't really imagine doing this every single day. My hands are burning right now and they're red. We're just carrying two gallons. This isn't counting like water for every member of your family. You just develop a sense of gratitude for what you have, but you also become more aware of what one third of the world is suffering from. And it just makes you wanna help and contribute in any way you can to you know, just help improve their situation. Because it's a right, you know? Access to sanitation and water should be a right because people need it to survive. I really observed things coming full circle today for my students and for their learning. What's different about PBI, you learn the lesson and you don't forget about it. We remember these things and they're probably going to stay with some of us for, you know, the rest of our lives. We got to talk with experts. These are real issues that intersect with the issue of water and the issue of sanitation. The long term. I love being able to learn more in depth about our particular issue. With PBI, it's open-ended. We can ask any question we want and we can do as much research as we need to to help get into the nitty-gritty of that question. It's more interesting. It's just better learning for me. It was a really a team effort to try to find the essential problem and the solution. You can bounce off of each other's ideas and this will ultimately lead to you coming up with the best solution. The stuff that we focus on applies to the real world. Like really brought my attention to not only the issue but like what we can do as individuals to solve it. We're trying to raise up to a thousand dollars or more for water for South Sudan. We were able to raise seven hundred dollars tonight alone, which was great. So you are going to think, discuss, write. The next generation, you guys, will have to be able to convince others and you have to be able to communicate and again listen, right? It's a partnership. It's not us teaching them how to do things. We need to really understand from their perspective like how they're feeling, what their issues are. They are kids with huge hearts that really care and they want to make a difference. We're all humans at the end of the day. We are all in this together. It feels good to help people out and it's really important to continue to do that.